Hi everyone, in this video we are going to take a brief look at this book. It is called Vector and Tensor Analysis. It's part of the International Series in Pure and Applied Mathematics. And I don't know if I've ever talked about this book. Uh, if I have, it's been, it's been a while. Um, I had this book uh, in a different area from my other books. You can see it's really worn down there, right? Really old book. Let's open it up. I'm going to give it a whiff here before we look at the contents. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's got a nice, pleasant smell. Very nice scent. Let's open this up here. Vector and Tensor Analysis by Harry Lass, Jet Propulsion Laboratory, California Institute of Technology, 1950. Let's take a look at the topic. So this is a course you could take as an undergrad. Um, let's see what it says here. This text can be used in a variety of ways. The student totally unfamiliar with vector, anal vector analysis can peruse chapters one and two and four to gain familiarity with the algebra and calculus of vectors. These chapters cover the ordinary one semester course in vector analysis. Cool, so there's different ways to use it, probably because it has so much content. Let's take a look at the table of contents. Starts with the algebra of vectors and then differential vector calculus. So some of this stuff you do in calculus. Then here we get to differential geometry, uh, integration, some more advanced topics, static and dynamic electricity, mechanics, hydrodynamics, and elasticity, tensor analysis, and Riemann. Riemannian, Riemannian geometry, I can never say that correctly. Further applications of tensor analysis. And then we have, see, it starts a, a, in a very uh, basic way, right? The definition of a vector. So really basic stuff, but then it, it accelerates quite quickly. And this reminds me of a book I have uh, written by H.B. Uh, Phillips from around the same era. And it looks very similar. The intro is very, very similar uh, to this one. And it just shows it's a sign of the times, right? Uh, books written during the same era usually follow similar patterns, you know? So a lot of the modern math books today are very similar. And I suppose it was the same back in 1950. Yeah, very basic stuff, but important stuff. Get some exercises here. Quite a few exercises, actually. Now, I don't know, let's see if, the, I don't think there's gonna be answers in this one. Yeah, these some of these books, nope, no answers, unfortunately. Oh, what's this? We have a, a, a mystery here. Someone's homework. I'm going to give it a whiff. It smells really, really old. I mean, I wonder if this is from 1950. Yeah, Lockheed. I can zoom in here. Lockheed Aircraft Corporation says Missiles and Space Division. Wow. So that's the paper they're using. Maybe they uh, they were involved in that and they were uh, using this book. Wow, pretty cool. Nice thick pages, a well-bound book. So you could jump into a book like this and use this for self-study. Uh, I don't know if this book is still in print. I don't know if it's popular, uh, but you see it does have some topics from, from Calc, Calc 3 and stuff. So yeah, it's know some basic calculus and in theory, uh, you could jump in. Obviously, the more math you know, uh, the better uh, with a book like this. Ideally, you've had some calculus, and this is not your first experience with multivariable calc is what I mean, but yeah. So yeah, I'll, I'll, if I find it, I'll leave a link in the description. I, I don't know. I don't know if it's available. Again, this is one that I had. Uh, it was in a different pile. This was not on my bookshelf, and um, I'm just getting some books out of a different area now and going through them. So I thought I would make this video just to show you this book. I have books as well. Uh, my math my math books are very easy, by the way. They all have full solutions. They're all very simple. They're for beginners. Uh, and they're all in the description. Check out the links. Uh, and I have courses. Check them out uh, in the description or on my website, freemathvids or mathsorcerer.com. Take care.